what's good everybody i hope everybody's having a great week so far we're here to do some uh pick a card yes or no readings okay so i'm gonna pull um three cards you're gonna ask your yes or no questions you're gonna pick your card and then we're gonna pull tarot to see if it's your story and get you some uh some guidance some you know some clarity on the situation that you're asking about okay the timestamps for these readings are going to be down below and uh guys don't forget to like share subscribe and if you just came to hate go ahead and do that because either way i'm going to do me you're going to do you and i there's nothing i can do about that so go ahead and continue doing you uh, remember guys not every detail of these stories are going to resonate but if you're called to a reading there may be a message in that reading for you okay so make sure you stick around also guys if these readings do resonate be sure to check out my patreon you can also follow me on tiktok instagram facebook i'll put all that information in the description box down below okay so i'm going to pull the uh, three cards and then you're going to pick your pile all right let's see all right so we're going to card one card two Ask your question, guys. And let's see. Oh. I'm not taking that one because it flipped over and I like to be surprised. <laughs> you know, I like to be surprised with these readings. All right. And then card three. All right, guys. Pick your card. The timestamps for those readings are going to be down below. I'm also going to, yeah, timestamps for the reveal. All right, guys, pick your card and let's get into this. Card one, the hangman. This is undecided, not sure. Card two is the emperor, that's a no. And card three, that's a dev the devil is a no. Ooh, we've been getting that devil like in every single um, uh, yes or no reading so far. Okay, all right, guys. Um, let's start with the hangman, all right? Let's start with the hangman. This is undecided. You're, we're not sure. Whatever your question is, I don't know. We'll, we'll look into it. All right, guys, what's the hangman? So what can you tell us about the hangman? What can you tell us about the hangman, guys? What? Okay, so we got the six of wands in reverse and the eight, or I'm sorry, the nine of wands in reverse. The six of wands in reverse, this is, this is, um, kind of a failure, failure, you know, you're, you're not having victory in something. It could be lack of confidence, giving up, retreating, putting up boundaries. It could um, ending abundance, stability. Okay, so if you're asking the outcome, okay, this could be a this could be a card of free will, right? So if you're thinking of making some moves and it's it's saying you know the outcome is is really going to depend on how you handle this situation, how you move going forward okay because this is no victory this is this is getting beat up in the process uh, abundance ending somebody's stability ending and then we have the seven of cups um this could be commitment issues okay it could be a relationship be a relationship. Hmm. No. You have many options. Let's okay. All right, guys. Let's let's let me. I gotta get another deck just to break this down. All right, guys. I'm trying not to keep it. Make these too long for you guys um all right so let's what's the six of okay i was gonna say six of wands 
There could be secrets. So somebody knows, somebody, there's secrets that somebody knows that you're going to have a new beginning. This is this is why it's talking about stopping, um, no forward movement, no victory, right? Somebody, has, there's secrets that maybe they know, if you're asking about a, a specific person, this person may know that you're going to have a new beginning in something, right? So they're, they're um, what they're doing is trying to stop your your victory by having you feeling bound and in this state of worry um you know i i don't know where i got guilt they could be guilt tripping you um like oh i'm i'm gonna be you know struggling they're trying to play on your emotions they're trying to stop your victory again um with the eight of wands you know they're trying to to keep you beat up and bound what is this Knight of Wands? Nine of Wands. What can you tell us about this Nine of Wands? Spirit, please. Yeah, someone's being sneaky. Somebody's being sneaky. Judgment's going to be called on this situation. What are they being sneaky about? Again, they're trying to kill your abundance. They're trying to kill your abundance because you having this victory is going to have them in this this state so instead of them being in, the, in this state of worry and isolation and lack they want to keep you bound um they might even try to be sad they could be sabotaging your work your finances yeah because they're trying to hold, okay they're trying to hold on to you they don't want you they want to keep you in a state of indecision not being able to move forward because this person knows that you have lots of options. There may be one particular person that is around you that you have a lot of love for. And this person with the moon, they might know this. Okay. Okay. What can you tell us about the seven of cups? I'm not taking those. There were too many. And what's the seven of uh, cups? <clears throat> we're gonna see what the seven of cups is. Seven of cups, please. What can you tell us about the seven of cups, spirit? Seven of cups. You could have been giving to multiple people and now you're in this state of trying to find balance okay you have you've been giving you know you've been giving to multiple people um now you're to find balance you you're taking that one coin to to invest in in one person yeah it could be a, a love relationship but there may be a need to end um, something with someone you work with and this person is not happy about it because you're putting up boundaries because this person knows that you have a lot of love for somebody and that you're going to communicate that because you want to grow over there you want to offer something to someone else that you see is your happiness okay Let's look into this Three of Cups real quick. Before I let you guys go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Here we're, we have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands. So this King of Wands could be making a decision between two people. Remember, we're talking about the Three of Cups. There's three people involved, right? But you're, you're feeling... Um, confused unable to make a decision right trying to make a decision okay this stood up um three of cups again we're clarifying the three of cups it's it's like you're trying to find your community you're trying to pick the person that is more um aligned with you it's like finding your 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 soul family, right? Because um, you're going within because you want to have the victory. 
So you're not making this this decision lightly, as you should. You shouldn't, you know? You shouldn't make this lightly. Um, you want to make sure that whatever decision you make is not going to have you in the state of, of, you know, worry and stress. All right. So let's look into, before I let you guys go, let's look into this King of Cups. What can you tell us? This King of Cups could be you. You could, you know, this energy of you have a lot of love for someone. Um, with the King of Wands, this you could be somebody who's very attractive, very sexy. A lot of people fight for your attention. But... Even though you're very sexy and a lot of people want your attention, you also are very loving. So you want a very loving, stable relationship. Okay. Yeah, you're dreaming about building abundance with a queen of cups, somebody who is your counterpart. You could have been married to somebody that was um, toxic and now you're, you're juggling with who do I choose and it's causing you a lot of heartache it's causing this king of uh, cups a lot of heartache because they want to they want to offer their cup to somebody who they see as their counterpart right they they have a lot of you know daydreamy lovey lovey dovey energy they fantasize about this person a lot and not in not that you don't find this person sexy but it's more the nurturing part that you know, the emotions that you feel with this person. Whereas somebody that you did choose in the past who you could have married, it, it caused a lot. There was a lot of toxicity. And it, it, does, it doesn't mean that that's how it always was. It just developed into that. So you're trying to make, okay, so you're just, you're, you're juggling now, right? You're juggling, should I take this leap of faith or should I hold on? You're going to get the clarity. You're going to get the clarity you need because you were stuck in this uh, hangman position. I don't know what to do. But you're going to get the clarity. Any final advice for this group? We got the Knight of Cups. That's making a sweet offer, a proposal. And then we got the Ace of Wands to, you know, something that you have a lot more passion towards. A lot of love, a lot of passion. There's a lot of, there's both, you know? You're, <laughs> Anything else? Okay, this one's getting long, guys. Okay, you need to make a decision. Make a decision. All right, guys, that is your advice. I hope this helped. We'll see you guys in, in the next one. All right, oh, before I let, we got the two of cups. That's partnership, partnership. You're going to be able to grow something with this person. All right, guys? <sighs> Sorry, got ashes on my cord. Well, it is Palo Santo, so it's probably banishing negative energies from that devil. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Group number two. We're going to look into this emperor. Your question. We're going to look into why your, the answer is no for you, All right? So let's pull a few cards and then we'll break it down. What can you tell us about the emperor? Why is this a no? Why is this a no? Why is this a no, spirit? Okay, so we're gonna... We got the Eight of Swords. Oh my God. We got the Eight of Swords. We got the Nine of Cups. Got the Ten of Pentacles. And we got the Hierophant. Okay. So, um, you could be feeling trapped. You're feeling bound, I want to say, to a marriage. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just break it down, right? We're going to look at this Eight of Swords. This is feeling trapped, feeling bound. 
I want to say it's like you're unable to move towards this fulfillment and abundance and it could be because you are married the emperor is a it could be a contractual agreement so like a marriage or it could be a work contract that you you feel bound to it might you know you might want to be able to to maybe collaborate with someone else or get out of this job and and go towards something else but that you feel is going to bring you a lot more abundance and fulfillment but you're trapped by this this um this contract okay so let's see what this eight of swords is yeah um you could be married um it could be tied into your finances and that's causing you a lot of um, mental stress um, it, spirits coming through right away justice will come into balance this scale the, the scales if it's unbalanced in this situation um, your abundance will come in we have the ten of pentacles twice so if you're worried about this about your finances you know spirits saying I got you you be true to yourself you're being true to me and I will bless you that's what spirit's saying all right let's look into the higher font what is the hair font what is a hair font what can you tell us about the hair font okay you're trying to move away from from this institution it could be marriage a job you're trying to move away from that Ooh. yeah because this this situation it could have been there could have been a lot of manipulation in this and um, in this uh, co uh, connection It's like I want to make, I want to make a proposal. I want the will of fortune to go in my favor. Uh, you know, I want the abundance. Of that ten of pentacles. That's the second time it came out. But you need to move away from this to be able to make that offer, to get that will of fortune to go in your favor. And honestly, guys, if you get stuck in a in a in a situation and you don't move away from it, you could lose this anyways. So you're so stuck in your head about oh I, I can't I can't leave because if I leave I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my abundance. Well guess what spirit's like you're not being true and authentic to yourself. You're gonna lose it anyways. Yeah, go towards your new you be go after your passions. Your passion should be driving you right now, being true to who you are and what it is that calls to your soul, okay? What's the nine of uh, cups? Let's look at this. What's the nine of cups? What's the nine of cups? Yeah, take a take a leap, take a chance. And we got the ten of. Oh my God, guys, come on. Yeah, it's. Uh, if you've been wanting this, like. If you've been craving, I, I I get this card as craving this uh, connection where you guys can grow old together. The Six of Cups, you know, here they're young, they're young and they grow old together. You, that's your wish. You want to grow old with someone, and you probably see that in in who or whatever you want to, you know, whoever you want to move towards because you see them as you know your fulfillment your happiness your your wish fulfillment okay let's look into this, this ten of pentacles okay let's look into this ten of pentacles okay ten of pentacles you could be going back to school to learn something and in order for you to learn this you need to move away right let's say you're in a relationship you're in a marriage you have to leave or um you want to pursue higher education but you, in order to do this you got to leave 
you're, you know, you could live, you know, in California, but you're, you're, the school that you want to go to is, you know, in New York. And your person's like, I don't want to move and I don't want you to move. But you're like, I, I really need to study this. If I want to build this abundance, I need to move away. So Spirit's saying, you need to make a decision. Okay. You need to make a decision. What else can you tell us about the Ten of Pentacles, Spirit? What else can you tell us about the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, you need to make... Um, the chariot talks about fast action and change in direction when it comes to your life. And the reason why Spirit's telling you you need to follow what it is that calls to you because you made this mistake before with the Hermit in Reverse. You've made this mistake of compromising yourself and um, sacrificing what it is that you desired for others. And these people could be trying to get you to do that again. No, we don't want you to leave. No, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to leave. Um, and it keeps you bound. So the emperor is somebody who's strong. Okay. And this person could be causing you to, to doubt yourself. Is this a good idea? And that's why you're feeling trapped in this in this connection. What's going to happen if they don't leave, Spirit? What will happen if they don't leave? You need to make a decision. What's going to happen if they don't leave? Devil. Two of swords at the bottom. Come on, guys. Yeah, if you don't leave this situation, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose out on something anyways you're, you're staying stuck because you don't want to miss out or lose out on something uh, uh, spirits saying you're not seeing things clearly you're not seeing <clears throat> the toxicity in this situation see how the devil is um oh my god i don't i just saw this okay look at how the devil has these strings and has this this man Kind of like puppeteering him, right? And in this in this card, she can't see. And it, these birds, it's like they these birds have these strings, kind of like this, like this devil. You're not seeing. You have people in your ear telling you what you should or shouldn't do. Pulling these strings. This is that devil energy, man. That might have been hidden from you. Maybe you didn't see it. You're going to get the clarity now. Okay? All right, guys. I hope that helped. And we'll see you guys at your next reading. All right, guys? All right. Card number three. We got the devil. This is a no. We're going to see why. Why? Why it's a okay. Let's look into your story, okay? Let's look into your story. Why is this a no, spirit? Why is this a no? Why is this a no? Somebody might be really stressed out. Somebody's suffering, you know, sleepless nights. Suffering insomnia. They're really all in their head. We have the Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And one more. Oh. We have Death at the bottom. And then we got Strength. Okay. All right, page of pentacles. This talks about a new job, right? Um, you're investing in something. You might be new at this. 
it, you know, it's a seed that you're planting when it comes to your finances. This is causing some someone a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, because you're going after this new beginning that calls to your that calls to your spirit, to your soul. You know, it uh, cups talk about um, emotional fulfillment. This is going to be a new beginning and something that you find will be, um, you know, emotionally fulfilling for you. And then we have the strength. I'm taking it as needing to hold strong because whatever you asked, your clarifying card is the devil. This means that somebody, and this could be you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with, is disappointed that this is coming to an end. That you're... Oh, they're sad that the abundance, like, okay, so this could be that, this could be that you're very financially stable, right? You, you're you good financially. You have all the money. Um, you really don't need to do this, but you do, but you do because it calls to your soul. It's something that you find is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. You need, it's almost like you... It's almost like you feel like you need to do this. You're holding strong. But somebody is very disappointed because that means it's going to be the end of their abundance if you cut them out. So they're being deceptive. They're playing on your emotions. Okay? That's what they're doing, guys. All right. Let's look into this page of pentacles. What is this investment? If... Let's see what is it that you're investing in. Let's see what kind of work. I'm taking it like, it could, okay, a new job. It could also be going to school. Pages are, um, they're, they're new at something. Okay. It's too many. I just want one. I'm going to see if, okay, there you go. Hold on. Okay, we got three of wands. Let me take a quick quick look okay threes talk about communication um, creative work this is this could be a freelance writer an artist an inventor anything else for work school like that, that could be a new job that you're getting uh, working on or it could be something that you're studying then we got the eight of wands the king of wands and the nine of cups communication sorry guys i'm trying to understand this real quick not even saying that it's just saying <laughs> sorry spirit okay okay nine of cups talks about getting what you want when it comes to this career that you want to go after you're gonna get what you want but um you might not be communicating because you know that somebody's not you're not you might not be communicating that this is your passion and you're gonna get you're gonna go after this and it might have somebody feeling, or you, it could have you feeling like, well, should I? Is this a good idea? Because you could have someone over here trying to make you feel like, um, spirit saying, it could be a lover that's making you feel like, um, this is uh, crazy, it's pie in the sky, you have your head in the clouds, right? To think that you can, you should do this. And so it's like, you're, you're in this place where I need to move away from this. And that could be causing you a lot of grief. Okay. All right, let's look into this Five of Cups, okay? What is this Five of Cups? Who's, you know, we got the Death and the Two of 
cups. It could be an end of a relationship. And okay, when I when I said that I was drawn to the devil and these two that are bound to the devil. This person doesn't want you to leave them. So they want to try and bind you to this 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 devil energy. It could be a mother figure. It could be your mother, the mother of your children that is feeling this way. And this could be the person that's trying to bind you to, to them. Okay. Somebody's feeling out in the cold right now. Somebody could be in a third party situation. Um, this is your community. Oh, there could be another person involved. When I'm talking about the third party, that doesn't mean, um, you know, someone stepping out on their relationship. It could be, it could be an outside influence. So let's say it could be a mother and the mother of your children that are working together they're traitors they're traitors the hangman in reverse is a traitor they could be taking money to try and stress you out There's a need for you to maintain boundaries because if you want to make an offer to somebody, you know, <laughs> the judgment wanted to make an appearance. Judgment's being called on this situation. Um, if you wanted to have a new beginning with somebody, there's a need for you to put up boundaries because these people are, they're feeling, they're traitors. I hate to say that, but they're they're working against you. Because they want to have you in this energy. Look at this nasty energy. Because they know that your new um, beginning is gonna bring is is gonna bring a new cycle for you. They know that this is what you've been manifesting. What can you tell us about the ace of cups? the high priestess and the king of pentacles so this ace of cups is a new beginning with with another person but this could this could really um be divinely guided this person was divinely guided to you you could be very financially stable this person is that you're um thinking about making this offer to Again, I wanted to fly out um, divinely guided. Where is, where is this other person that you were involved with? You know, look at these two. They both have wings. One's the devil. Um, with the temperance, like nothing is, you're not bound to this energy. So you, it, it will allow you to feel more free, more free. That's what that Ace of Cups is. So let's see what the strength is. Okay, let's look at that strength real quick. And then I'll let you guys go. What's the strength, Spirit? What's the strength card? Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. If you're worried, okay, says so the spirit saying, stay strong. I, I know you're worried. I know you're worried. And there's, I just don't know how to make up my mind. You're, the seven of cups can talk about confusion. You have lots of options. What decision should I make? Because you don't want to be left, you know, regretting your decision, right? So you take the time to 
consider it carefully with the justice. Justice. What else for the strength spirit? Justice talks about balance. Um, yeah, sun. You might not, you might feel unbalanced right now trying to make this decision. But Spirit's here to say, you, you know, this situation will get balanced out and you will have happiness in this situation. So I'm not really sure what you asked about. What did you ask? Let's see what you asked about. What was your question? Let's see if Spirit can tell you. Jesus. <laughs> it could be, should I end this? Um, well, I like it's talking about I'm almost getting like hold on guys a lot of cards just it could be a marriage yeah I'm getting a marriage should you stay in this marriage no this marriage is going to come crumbling down you know it could be a, um, the mother of your children right Ending that is actually going to bring you victory. I, I hate saying that, guys. I really do. You know. I don't want to be here, you know, telling you, leave your partner. But you know. I don't, you don't need me to tell you this. I, this is just confirmation, you know, clarity for what you already, you know, what you already know. Okay. All right, guys, let's see. Is there anything else that group three needs to know before I let them go? Anything else three, group three needs to know before I let them go? Put up boundaries. Put up boundaries because people are going to try and create, um, create um, stress, doubt in your mind. Because they want to hold on to you. So there's a need for you to isolate, retreat from others, and just focus on your, your own well-being, okay? All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave that there. Actually, I don't know why. Let me. Every time I see that devil, I want to pull, uh, I want to pull one of these wisdom oracle cards just to get you some advice. Because this looks like a very difficult situation. So this is just... Final advice, okay? Just a message that you can chew on, all right? Can I get one message for group three? A message for group three? Can I get a message for group three? Can I get a message for group three? Can I get a message for group three, please? We have the fledging. The fledging says, oh my God. <laughs> when you receive the symbol of the fledging, know that you are blessed with the time of learning new things. Yeah, learning. Oh, yeah, learning new things. Remember going back to school. It is time for you to remember that you cannot know things until you experience them. Being, being in this evolving state means that you may stumble a bit. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Now is the time for being gentle with yourself as you step into your destiny to become the beautiful person that you are meant to be. When the fledging appears to you, it is a sign of new growth and wonderful new opportunities. Step forward with curiosity and willing willingness to learn and discover. All right, guys. I hope this helped. I hope it brought the clarity that you guys needed. And we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page. You can also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I will put all that information down below. And we will see you guys next time.